good guys? It's your friend Cat Sketch today. We are going to do a beauty makeup chit chat. Get ready with me. So get your snacks, hold tight, get your coffee because today we're about to talk about something that maybe you guys haven't experienced yet or you have. So I'm going to vent to you while I'm doing my makeup today. We are talking about Everything that happens to you, the bad, the good, the ugly, the awkward, when you hit 30 years old. And this year, your girl, she turned 30 in October. So a lot of you guys may not know my age. For years on YouTube, I promised myself I'm not going to talk about my age, but here I am. <laughs> I thought the more I open up to you guys, the more you get to know me. So today we're gonna do that. And the first thing I need to talk about is gray hair. If you can see right here, I've got gray hair. I've always had gray hair since the age of 24. I started sprouting these little babies. And I don't know if I want to like leave my gray hair. I've been dyeing my roots for since 24. And this is gonna be your new best friend when you're 30. These are the root cover-ups for grays. If they had these in like color hair ones, that would be just everything. But I've been having gray hair forever. What real YouTuber talks about her gray hairs but me? I'm like too honest and real sometimes I feel like. That I'm like the awkward cousin or aunt. That's so crazy that I could be some of y'all's aunt. Aunt. Auntie. And when you're 30, you also need to watch out. You might turn into a caffeine queen because you don't have as much energy and your metabolism goes down. That's what we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about, you know, the awkward things first and then I'll say the good things. Right after I turned 30, I started getting stretch marks and I, I'm used to stretch marks. I've had her, she's visited my body many times, but the stretch marks I'm experiencing now at 30 are totally different. When I have stretch marks, I'm lucky. I was like the chosen one who got almost invisible white stretch marks on my skin and I'm like the color of paper sometimes in the winter. So I was cool with it, but these stretch marks that appeared on my stomach when I turned 30, they were like bright red. It's like I fell asleep, woke up the next day, and I had these bright red stretch marks. So I Amazon rush delivered ordered preventative stretch mark cream because I'm OCD like that. I used to work at a maternity store before I started YouTube and I would dress naked maternity women at motherhood maternity store. It was a terrible job. But I like got down as creepy as this is down to the T to where I could look at a woman's chest with her wearing her clothes on and could tell her what her bra size was because I was so good at fitting bras. I don't know if I could do that now and it might be stepping over my, the comfort zone of most people. But I already knew like what stretch creams to get because it's like I was planning myself for your body to get bigger and your stretch marks to come. Your metabolism slows down to an elephant's pace when you turn 30. And I already had a semi-slow metabolism because if you didn't know, I used to be anorexic at one point in my life for I would say about two years. And I was down to 118 pounds which is really small for my body. I was like losing my hair, losing my friends, my mood would change. I would only eat under 500 calories a day and swim eight laps and run miles. I was insane. So that slowed down my metabolism already and then once you hit 30, it's like the tortoise. I'm definitely the tortoise and not the hare race in this race of life. I'm going full coverage queen today because your skin loses collagen and you get these cute things that I thought were freckles until I got my first facial right before I turned 30 and they're like, oh no miss, those aren't freckles, those are old age spots. And I'm getting more wrinkles. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's incredibly great. You guys may think I look young, but I swear <laughs> I'm not. And some people, when me and my boyfriend go out to eat, they think I'm like 18 and he's 35, when in reality, I'm older than he is by two and a half years. So that's odd. And if they see me with gray hair, that's my gray hair and not my roots done, they're gonna think that's really weird. Maybe I'll look older or maybe I'll just look like an 18 year old with gray hair. I don't know. I think it's. That has to do with my Asian Asian genes, why I look young. Makeup could help a lot too. Speaking of makeup, when you turn 30, you need to like 
go towards more moisturizing moisturizers you need to really think about under eye creams there was this amazing meme I'll put it here where it's like if you had a crush on one of these boys with this haircut you need to look into under eye cream and it's so freaking true I have to look at under eye cream I have to look at brightening anti-aging serums now like I have to really start thinking about this stuff you don't have to but like you notice it you notice a difference now if you apply those like religiously I call my hair like a skunk now because I get most of my grays here and some on the sides and it's like splotchy and it's not like an even gray which is weird so you know I'm Miss Queen Miss Skunk you look at like brightening powders like this one now that I'm older I'm looking at like you have to worry about retirement plans really hone down your health insurance it's crazy the worst thing that I've noticed that when I'm 30, you know your period cramps get a little worse and when I watch things on Facebook that include gender baby reveal parties, weddings, proposals, and puppies that are about to die being saved and rescued, I start bawling like an actual baby infant who's had its pacifier taken away for the rest of its life. Like, it's not a, even a joke. I don't know how my brain's just like, oh, let's cry today. We're gonna cry right now. Yep. No, I don't care if you're in the middle of a meeting. We're crying right now because they, you saw at the corner of your eye a video of this girl's dreams coming true and she making it through the American Idol finals and going on Ellen for singing. I'm like, that's, that's great. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like my emotions take over my body. And I don't even remember crying about the dumbest things in the world that I usually would not care about. I wonder if that's a thing now that I'm 30. I would believe it. Oh, and when you're 30, you cannot do pull an all-nighter. It's like, if you can, you're like a superhero and it's very rare. Because I personally, maybe others can, personally, I cannot pull an all-nighter anymore. It's like asking me to learn how to fly in front of your eyes. I just can't do it no more. My body's like, no. I start getting addicted to espresso because my body needs that much caffeine to function on like a high impact work day. And then I get addicted to caffeine and then I have to wean myself off and then I get headaches and it's a whole ordeal. My eyes look so bruised and weird that there's no makeup on them. Let's pull out Miss P. Louise concealer base today because we're gonna do like a winter wonderland look and I want her to shine bright like a diamond. Let's talk about cellulite and spider veins. I've had cellulite and spider veins before I turned 30 in my 20s, but to this degree, they start like making themselves less shy, more well known. They speak up from the back of the class. They cause drama, they start rumors. That's what cellulite starts doing and miss spider veins when you're 30. And if you, you don't have cellulite or spider veins when you're 30, girl, you should also enter the lottery. You should. Because I'm, I'll tell you what, like it's no game. I started getting spider veins when I was like 27, I wanna say. And it was like this one little angry one on my thigh and now I feel like there's more just populating like a virus across my leg. And there's nothing wrong with that. When I'm talking about these awkward things when you turn 30, it doesn't mean that you should just hide your face from the world and be ashamed. It means that you're not alone. If you still have to turn 30, if you just turned 30, if you've been there, done that. When I turned 30, I started standing up for myself more and not caring what other people really thought about me. Because as long as you don't pay my rent, affect my paycheck, see me every day and harass me, I'm not going to really have issue with what you say about me. And I need to learn that a little bit more to be honest, but it's been a lot better now that I'm 30. I don't care as much about other people. Because you learn when you're 30 that sadly friends, they just want to leave your life. And honestly, I don't think they want to leave your life, but they start growing apart from you, which is sad. That's sad, but you're just growing to different people using this now. 
I was first using the Creepy Cute palette by Strobe Cosmetics. Now this is the Ofra Pro, just using this blue. At first I thought, is it my fault? My anxiety would tell me, girl, what did you do? Why doesn't your friend want to hang out with you anymore? Why does you have no friends now? But honestly, like people just grow apart from each other. They have different things, you know? I'm a weird type of 30 year old where I don't like to go out and party and drink. Like I'll go to a party that where there's people drinking, but I don't participate in the crazy partying stuff. I'm the grandma who stands by on the sidelines like, do you need another drink, sweetie? Do you want me to hold your hair? I'm that type of girl. Like honestly, I'm not the type of person who needs like a posse of friends. I don't need to like drink to fit in. I'm just like my own weirdo, as Mr. Kate would say, creative weirdo who I would love to just stay home with like a few close friends you know eat some burgers while we're watching Netflix movies and you know alien documentaries and documentaries about ghosts and serial killers that's like my tea that's my thing I'm not m much of a person who's like needs to really go out much I need social conversations Yes, but I don't need this cold shoulder from the Creepy Cute Palette by Strobe Cosmetics is everything. I love this palette so much, but I don't know, maybe I always grew up around older people as a kid and not many kids my age, so I feel like that has a lot to do with. It's not that I don't get along with people my age, it's just harder for me to fit in. So if you feel like you don't fit in with other people, like you don't like to have the same activities as other people, Maybe you like to, I don't know, go to plays and stuff instead of the club or stay at home and craft <laughs> or cook like me. Don't feel awkward about being different because being different just makes you unique. Honestly, the older you get, if you could get pleasure and happiness by yourself doing your own thing and not what everyone else does, that just makes you a happier person. Just my opinion. Oh my gosh, the older I get though, the more like if people cancel plans on me, the less I get upset, unless it's something I really wanna do, but I usually don't get upset as much as I used to when I was in my 20s. Because honestly, staying home Netflix and literally chilling and nothing else and just eating food is uh, so much better and more appealing to me in my 30s than it was in my 20s. Because relaxing is a, fine wine that I don't get to dine with that much. Now that works so much. Oh my gosh, when I hit 30, this is not all 30 year olds, but I discovered yoga and it's so relaxing. It just puts me right back to sleep. This eyeliner, sis. I'm using aqua colors too. Aqua colors liners, I know they won't last throughout the night, but they sure do look pretty. They're easier to apply than regular eyeliner. I feel like Frozen just threw up on my eyeballs and it looks cute. Loving this eye makeup. Okay, I'm gonna do little mittens and stars. I was inspired by this um, makeup artist I saw on Instagram. Not little stars, snowflakes. And um, so now I wanna join, I wanna do it. I hope I don't mess this up. Let me tell you about how depression's kicking my butt when I'm 30. Cause I feel like at 30 you really start analyzing your childhood, understanding what went wrong. I feel like everybody goes through that. You know, not everyone had the best childhood, but you really start reflecting on the past, but you can't live in the past. It's like a whole ordeal. Yes, Mitten, we've got one down, three more to go. You know, little snowy mittens. Even though I rarely experience snow, I don't go in the mountains as much here as I should. Who has time? I don't. You know what would have been amazing? If I could go in the snow, do my makeup in the snow while it's snowing, or in, from the cabin with the snow in the background while I film and do my makeup, that would be sickening. Just thoughts and idea. I almost forgot what mittens look like. This one's a little wonk, but she's okay. Ooh, I feel like a Smurf just loves to hang out on my eyelid. Do you want to build a snowman and draw him on my face? Wow, I'm annoying. Let's do some snowflakes. Yes! What? You can't tell me nothing I love my eyes so much today. This is the hardest part. You have to have a hand steadier than any of the relationships I've ever had in my life. And I'm on a lot of caffeine and a little sleep, so I'm like... <laughs> Bro. You can't tell me nothing with these eyeballs. Okay, now we're gonna put some blue in our eyeball and hope for the best and hope we don't mess this up. If you haven't noticed, I have contact lenses today from Pinky Paradise. They are a blue gray. I feel like they would look better on people with blue eyes to make them look more cold blue gray. With mine, it looks like every color of the rainbow and looks weird. It doesn't even look cute rainbow. It's like weird rainbow. 
Let's do our eyebrows, shall we? And start talking about some of the good stuff that happens when you're 30. Um, if I accidentally got pregnant, I'm at that age where it's like not as scary and you're a little bit more financially stable and you're like, you know what though? Like you get a little bit jealous of girls who are like, oh, and I got the baby name and here's my ultrasound. And we had the picture of the baby's like announcement and then we had a baby gender reveal and then we had a baby moon exist. That's when I knew I was getting older because I found out what baby moons are. I don't know if it's just a thing that certain people in cultures do, but I found out that there's a baby moon, which is like the honeymoon. When you find out you're pregnant and you have the... A little vacation before you're able to not travel anymore with the, you're pregnant with this baby creature living inside you eating off of your waist and uh, yeah I actually get excited now on what my future child will look like what is with that where did that come from what is it being 30 where you're like you're in this weird nesting phase and you just want to like cook in your spare time, read, watch your favorite shows and thinking about your future babies and even like thinking about weddings stresses me out, but some parts of it make me excited. That I've never been that type of person. I hate dancing. People, my friends and family getting together, they're all so different of types of people that I feel like they wouldn't get along so it makes me so anxious and nervous that I want to vomit sometimes thinking about it but at the same time some of it's cute to think about like ooh what if I get you know just bonfire pits and taco trucks that sounds really redneck but I would love that for my wedding I don't know but then at the same time it's like I'm back at that stage where I'm like I don't care what people think about me I'm gonna have a taco truck I'm gonna have an ice cream truck at my wedding I'm gonna have all of my bridesmaids having matching Mickey Mouse vans and what you know it's weird so I went from like you know when you're a kid you're like and then I'm gonna get married and then I'm gonna get this wedding dress and then we're gonna live happily ever after after I find my mom, find my prince charming and then now I'm like whatever when I was like 20 I'm like whatever if it doesn't happen you know I'm gonna live life on my time at the same time I was like you know if I had a kid right now I wouldn't be mad but then I shouldn't bless that on myself because it would be scary my boyfriend would freak out let's sculpt this face I thought I was missing something and I am which is um contouring forgot what that was for a second oh my gosh and when you turn 30 you find out all these things that are really weird that you never even heard of about like cool sculpting what are those cat what is cool sculpting cool sculpting is where they take parts of your body where there's extra fat and they have this thing that suctions and freezes your fat it's supposed to break down the fat particles under your it sounds complicated Ooh, that's bright that's a little too bright a little just a tad just a smidgen too bright. Blends like no one's business. Ooh, we need a blue. Space baby, where are you? From Ofra, where is she? She's right here. To do this. Oh, just set it right off, sis. Oh, it's like putting the extra cherries on top of your cake. Oh my gosh. Do you hear the the chair baby angels singing from the heavens? Because they are. While they brought this highlighter down to earth. Do you see this glow? Do you see her? What? I love makeup. It's so fun, so pretty. Let's put on some lashes and lipstick and call it a day, sis. Curling my lashes terrifies me because I always think to this day, even though I know how to, that I'm going to curl my lashes, that I'm going to actually grab the skin of my eyelid and pinch it off my face. Don't know why I have that fear. You know you're turning 30 when you go to your parents' house just to hang out, like your actual friends, like what? I remember when I was a teenager, me and my parents couldn't stand each other and they just always would make me cry about the simplest, dumbest things. <laughs> and now look at us, we're going to Costco together and picking out Christmas trees and having a grand old time and sharing the bulk, you know, bags of potato chips at Costco and, you know, trying to find samples that are gluten-free together. Going to farmer's markets together. I've always been like an old woman, mind, body, and soul though. I mean, come on, I collect Elvis t-shirts and my favorite hobby is to uh, cook different new recipes. I feel like those, as I get older, my hobbies get more and more grandma-like, like thrifting and antiquing. Who am I? Oh, Scrabble? 
new thing, not in the world, but to me as a grandma, my grandma stages are already at 30. Like my idea of being in bed by 10 o'clock so I could have an hour or two to watch my Netflix shows, that sounds perfect. Holy cannoli, I love my makeup. Oh my gosh, when I was 30, I was thinking about stocks. What are stocks? And I didn't know about those in my 20s. How did this come to my mind? When I turned 30, I started cooking foods for my best friends when they were sick. I just find out they're sick, I just cook them food and bring it over like I'm their grandparent. Like I'm replacing their grandparent at 30. Oh, Grandma Hazel said she'd stop by and send you some food? Forget her. <laughs> I will do it for you, sis. Arguing with grandmas over coupons is next at 40. Why doesn't this lash want to stay? Will you stay with me? Cause you're all I need. Won't you stay with me, eyelash? Sis. Who are you fighting with this makeup look? Where are you going, grandma? You going to Santa's Village? I went to, out to let we, when I'm 30, I get just excited about lunch dates as dinner dates. And me and my boyfriend, Corey, we went out to a lunch date at like one of those Philly cheesesteak places. You know those like hipster places that specialize in something that's not from your region? Because I live on the west coast and we don't really have amazing Philly cheesesteak here. So this place specializes in that. And I saw an old couple that for Christmas they dressed up as Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus and I literally wanted to sit on their lap but not disturb them during their lunch time and ask them, can I get this for Christmas? <laughs> Please. Pixies look a lift, pop off so hard and I feel like no one talks about them. And their lip wand is amazing and they're so comfortable, they glide on. Why is no one talking about her? She's great. These are amazing too, these are those Too Faced High Shine Sparkle Lip Glosses from the Pretty Rich Collection. Girl, who are you fighting with this? It's like sparkle on another level of glitter in your gloss without looking like junk. I feel like when I put gloss on my lips, it's like icing frosting on a cake. Cause my lips are so big and crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this snowy look today. I absolutely am obsessed with these colors. I feel like blue eyeshadows are so hard to blend, but I had so much fun doing this. Strobe Cosmetics is everything, and I love the Pro Palette from Ofra that I used. These lashes are my favorite. They're Wonderless by B Bella. They have some of the sickening lashes ever. They're almost $20, but they're well worth it, and you can use them multiple times if you clean them properly. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Leave a comment down below on what things are you looking forward to when you get older and what things have you learned if you're 30 or older. I would love to hear them. If there's anything that I missed, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and everything and subscribe to the channel because there's always Makeup Mondays and Effects Fridays. Thank you so much for hanging out on today's Makeup Monday. More videos coming up and I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.